month marked the 100th anniversary of an earthquake in Japan that nearly killed 100,000 people. Most died from fires after the shaking stopped. NBC investigative reporter Jackson Vanderbecken tells us Japan made a significant change as a result, a change the Bay Area has not embraced 34 years after Loma Prieta. This is truly hell on earth. UC Berkeley researcher Charles Scothorne studied the great Kanto disaster that hit Tokyo back on September 1st, 1923. He says the 7.9 magnitude earthquake killed 10,000 people outright. But the 100 fires that followed claimed close to another 80,000 victims. In peacetime, this is unquestionably the largest fire fatality in history. Scothorn's study noted that half of the 80,000 fire victims were caught up in what is known as a fire whirl. The winds were so strong that they, generate, they, they wound up generating fire whirls, what they fire tornadoes, in one location, effectively a large schoolyard, it killed 40,000 people who were taking shelter. While open cooking flames sparked most of the Kanto fires, gas lines are the danger today. So Japan now requires gas meters like this one, which automatically cut off gas flow when they sense shaking. Scothorn says that technology could prevent half the expected fires in San Francisco after a quake, giving the city's 44 engine companies a fighting chance to save the city. If you can cut those fires in half, uh, that is, that's profound. Board of Supervisors President Aaron Peskin says San Francisco has already led the way with strict building standards and is spending billions to assure fire crews have enough water to fight fires after a quake. It makes perfect sense that we put our money where our mouth is and make sure that the city doesn't burn down in a major earthquake. Two decades ago, a state panel concluded the benefit of preventing some gas-sparked fires would be outweighed by the costs including delays from crews having to go out and relight pilot lights for tens of thousands of undamaged homes. Since then, San Francisco has failed to act, even when a city task force concluded in 2017 that benefits of gas shutoff devices would be significantly greater than the cost. It's better to have a house with no gas than no house. Quake safety consultant Carl Strand represents a firm that makes gas shutoff devices you can install yourself. A ball simply moves into place to shut off the gas during strong shaking. These have to shut within five seconds. So far, Los Angeles is the only big city in the state to embrace automatic shutoff devices on new buildings. In the sewer. That came after 50 gas-fed fires erupted from the 1994 Northridge quake. Peskin says it's time for San Francisco to try again. There's no time like the present. I'm not going to cry about why it didn't happen until now. And now we've learned PG&E is embracing the concept of automatic meter shutoff technology with a pilot project in the works to evaluate two prototype meters similar to those used in Japan. Shake table. Scothorn just hopes that we can all learn the 100-year-old lesson of the Kanto quake before it's too late. As Mark Twain said, you know, history may not repeat itself, but it sure rhymes. Jackson Vanderbecken, NBC, Bay Area News.